Welcome, everybody. I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman, president of NLC Test Prep, and today we are talking about making your study plan for the FS, PS, or whatever land surveying exam that you are getting ready for. Now, this topic is near and dear to my heart because I am actually getting ready to take the Louisiana Professional Land Surveyors Laws and Rules exam coming up. And I wanted to sit back and think about exactly what do I do? I've been through like 12 or 13 of these exams over the years, plus the FS and PS. And I've got a system. Well, I want to share that system with you today. So the first thing I like to do is to appreciate that this is a goal. And if it's a goal, it needs to be smart, specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and timely. I'm sure you've heard this smart goal checklist before, but if you're gonna make a, a study plan to study four hours a day, six days a week for three months, to get ready for this thing, and you have a full-time job, a family, personal obligations, hobbies, whatever, then good luck getting this done. So let's be smart about this and start off by blocking off a certain amount of time. So for me, I like to do about an hour a day, maybe three or four days a week, and I'm not just gonna randomly study stuff. I'm gonna have kind of a, a plan which starts at the base of the mountain and goes up to the summit. And the summit is going to be passing my exam. So base of the mountain is gathering materials. That is putting together like the rubric or the blueprint of the exam. For the FS, it's published. For the PS, it's published. For basically any state exam, it's not as good, but it's still published. And we've got this like body of knowledge you have to start off with. That's the base of the mountain. Now, next, you've got to figure out how to work your way up. So one hour a day, four days a week, what am I going to be doing? Well, for the FS and PS, you can get online courses, practice exams, all kinds of good stuff to teach you exactly what you need to know. But if you're doing a state surveying exam, you have to go out typically to the state society. I found some great stuff at local state universities and other things going on where you can pick up this material and this is your starting point. I'm gonna read the Louisiana laws in the first week and make my own practice exam questions. I'm going to study the Louisiana rules next week. I'm going to study the titles on property the third week. You've got to give yourself milestones. So for the FS, there are seven different major categories. I'm going to study one category and master it in two weeks. Then the next category, two weeks. Then the next category, two weeks. Give yourself some milestones and write those down. Don't just keep them in your head because you need to have like a one page study document that says, I'm gonna study for one hour a day, four days a week. These are the seven categories of information. On weeks one and two, category one. Weeks three and four, category two. All the way down until like a week before your exam, you need to take a practice exam. When I went and took Louisiana, no practice exam. West Virginia, no practice exam. Alabama, no practice exam. All these states I've taken, there are no practice exams. So what do I do? I make my own. Reading the material is gonna be worthless. Highlighting, underlining a little better, Making flashcards, you're getting warmer, but if you write your own practice exam and you write the answers to it and you write full explanations, you are going to become the teacher. Now, what if no one else ever sees this practice exam you made? Well, who cares? It's yours and it's going to help you get ready. 
So if you want to be a test prep land surveyor Jedi, make your own practice exam. It may not be perfect. It may not be 100% right. But if you're making this, you are going to move from the student to the teacher. And that's going to elevate your skills, your experience, your practice, all kinds of great stuff. So in summary, you need to write up a one-page document. You need to have your number of hours a day, number of days a week studying. You need to have some milestones. What do you need to learn? And when do you need to take your practice exam? Probably a week before. And third, you need to generate some user-created stuff. Flashcards, questions, answers, explanations, study questions, whatever you're doing. Do not just read the material. You need to make it your own. So something you've got to make at the end of this to show you've moved up from the student to the teacher. And if you can do that, then you'll be ready to pass your surveying exam. Now, if you've got questions about making this study guide or this study plan, contact us today and you can talk to a professional land surveyor and he's gonna help you make a custom study guide, study exam plan absolutely for free. If you're a student of ours, that's great. If you have not purchased anything from us, you can still contact us, use the 15 minute free study link and we'll help you make this guide. So sign up and let's get started. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button to like the video and then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way, more people can find this video and it can help them. Plus, when you hit the subscribe button, you'll be able to watch the newest NLC videos as soon as they come out.